In this video, we are going to discuss the problem on free expansion of ideal gas. Now the question says an ideal gas at pressure P1 and temperature T1 in a box is kept in vacuum within a large container. Now the wall of the box gets punctured. What happens to the temperature as the gas occupies the entire container? Okay, so let's look at the initial conditions. It says that the gas is initially at pressure P1 and temperature T1 and this gas inside the box is confined within another container and it has only vacuum outside here. Correct? Now what do you think happens when the wall of this box gets punctured? Obviously all the gas molecules inside the box will rush outside into the container. Correct? Exactly. In other words, what is happening here is free expansion of gas. Because this process happens so quickly or this free expansion is very rapid, there is no sufficient time for heat transfer to take place between the gas molecules inside and the environment outside. And that is why this process is adiabatic, which is why Q or the heat transferred will become zero. Alright, what else is happening here? We can see that in this free expansion, the work done by the system or the gas particles is also zero. And why is that? Because we know that work done by the system is equal to minus P external delta V and here the gas particles are moving against vacuum. That is there is no external pressure acting against the gas molecules for which it will have to do some work against it, right? Because in this case P external is zero. There is no work done by the system and W is equal to zero. From here you can see that the two important thermodynamic parameters heat transferred and work done by the system are zero during the free expansion of an ideal gas into vacuum. So what does this say about the change in internal energy? Delta U or the change in internal energy is the sum of the heat added to the system plus the work done on the system. Now we know that W is positive if work is done on the system and negative when work is done by the system. But in any case, we don't have to concern ourselves with the signs of either Q or W because in a free expansion, both of these terms are zero, isn't it? Now since Q plus W is equal to zero, change in internal energy is also equal to zero. That means internal energy remains constant. Now delta U can also be written as NCV delta T. Since N and CV are constants and cannot be zero, if delta U is equal to zero, then delta T also has to be zero. And that means the temperature of the system remains constant. In other words, the final temperature is same as the initial temperature. Okay, so what else can you comment about the final conditions? Well, after expansion, the gas molecules that were confined within the small box have now occupied the entire volume of the container. As a result, the final volume is greater than the initial volume and consequently, the final pressure will be much lower than the initial pressure. This is because when the number of gas particles and temperature remain constant, pressure becomes inversely proportional to volume which is why pressure decreases as the gas particles expand and occupy the entire container or as the volume increases. So the final conditions of the system would be temperature is same, is constant, so final temperature is same as the initial temperature T1. The final pressure Pf would be less than the initial pressure because the final volume has now become much larger than the initial volume and all while the number of gas particles remains constant. 